Hi, I'm Inga Lennis. I'm the Senior Vice President for Practice Improvement and Patient Experience, and I am here with Dr. Erica Shinoy from Infection Control to talk about some of the new workflows regarding um, referring patients for COVID testing. Before we start, I wanna ask um, Erica about some of the guidelines for testing. Erica, can you tell us about who should be tested for COVID-19 according to the guidelines now? Yep, so that's the important point, guidelines now. So as of now, um, patients have to have symptoms, so we're not testing anybody asymptomatic, and the symptoms are either fever or lower respiratory tract infection symptoms. So those are the symptoms that they must have at the time. Um, then they need an exposure, and I'm gonna go through the three exposures that we think about. So um, the first exposure is, uh, have they been in close contact with a known positive COVID patient? You do not have to look up who that positive patient is. You take it at the word of your patient that they've been informed that they had close contact with a COVID positive patient. So that's the first exposure. The second exposure is if um, they travel to an area with widespread def, uh, transmission as defined by the CDC within the 14 days before the onset of symptoms. And that list you can find linked in the workflow that you're going to show, but that list is expanded actually dramatically yesterday to include, in addition to the countries you may have heard about, most of Europe. But there's a list of countries, so you look to see where do they travel the last 14 days before symptoms, and if they're on the list, they now have an exposure criteria met. The last one is actually not an exposure, it's more about the type of patient that you may hear from. If your patient is a healthcare worker and they um, work, they have symptoms, um, first of all with symptoms you're going to stay home and that messaging is coming out later today about staying home when, you're, when you have symptoms, but if you worked while you had those symptoms, you, you need to be uh, tested for COVID-19 and that will be worked through the workflow of occupational health in a similar fashion to the way you're going to describe it for all of ambulatory uh, providers who are referring patients in who meet those criteria and need to be tested. Great. So just a word about what that workflow is for ambulatory providers for patients who meet criteria for testing. There, um, as was uh, communicated this morning through an MGPO bulletin, there is a new EPIC referral order to the testing site, which is located within one of our ambulance bays at Mass General. They can also be tested at Brigham and Women's Hospital or Newton Wellesley Hospital, and the process is the same. Follow the tip sheet that was sent out. You will start a telephone encounter and title it specifically with the COVID title. Just follow the directions. In the order, you must specify what the screening criteria are that are met um, to be able to be screened. Once you finish that workflow, an RN team here at Mass General will be reviewing all of those referral orders, verifying that the patient meets criteria for testing, and then we'll call the patient to get them scheduled into our ambulatory testing area. So any clinician who is interacting with a patient by phone, in clinic, or via a virtual visit that comes across a patient that meets criteria for ambulatory testing can enter this EPIC referral order to get the patient scheduled into the testing area. If you have any questions at all, please reach out. Um, we will have assistance to help people through this workflow.